Um, I, so I'm going to read from Lost Letters and Other Animals tonight. Um, so I'll start with um, a series of poems called Brain Box Portraits. The brain box is divided from the body like a photographs an image. Press a flower in between each hour to preserve the exact measurement of loss. The mouth holds the wind like a light bulb holds light. Outside the throat, breath becomes ghost. The processing begins when the mind rewinds. In the fourth stage, the brain box becomes a sun. Humans turn into a tribe of deer, and there is only one language. At night, the deer shine from the fireflies that live inside their bones. Each day ends with the trees losing their leaves, and each day begins with the leaves growing back. The animals continue evolving until they wear their words like pebbles on their tongues. Then communication becomes an extinct bird with red feathers. Now every field is new and the mind a monstrous movie. Now gather the clues of small flowers. Instructions are inside. Um, so in 2008, I um, reunited with my estranged grandmother who I had not um, been in contact with for about 13 years. Um, and I learned that she was in the late stages of Alzheimer's. And so after that, I went and visited her twice in Northern Minnesota. And um, this book really became centered around um, that experience and those two visits. And so the next section I'm gonna read um, kind of speaks most directly to um, that experience and those two visits. When I was with her, I would at night just sort of record things she said or what we did. Um, just to sort of remember it. Um, and so this section is called Animals in Pretty Cages. Um, one, the body is old and doesn't know what is being done to it, just as the mind is old, undone in the process of forgetting and doesn't know what is being done to it. Three, like anything else, the body becomes angry if pressed or poked or prodded. Though the original mind, memory filled, a white dog dead many years ago, has been replaced with a new mind, wordless, an arthritic finger pointing to a lake, hands cupping a face. The body still navigates the room, still knows how to grasp a doorknob to open the front door. 13. Think a woman standing alone inside a forest of tall pines. Think empty wall, open window, the sea a moving canvas. Think blue, think blank. And in the picture, the body holds a doll and in the memory, the mind never loses its way. 14, up, up, the blue bird above. Yes, at the end of the hall, on the wall, high and then there, see, the blue, the little wings, it sits on a fence, way back, yes, yes. Oh my, says the body, look, look, it's so, and gestures toward the lake, it's so, yes, it's doing and very happy. Postcards from a memory collector. We try to make a different wild with new rules, sky as ground, cloud as lake. We decide all animals have their own secrets. From the balcony, I watch the sidewalk and imagine an opened mouth underneath. I wear the day like a bright bell in my throat. We live in a house where every animal was once our mother. Paper boats hang in a forest of doorways and the sky an endless sphere of gray feathers. One night, a fox barks at us, the tip of its tail white, then there, then gone. Aren't we all quick ghosts trying to settle ourselves into the night? Each tree is its own shining language. You sit on the floor like a new person. There are clocks and a miniature train circles the room. Light shines on the palm of your hand. Such a small square of pink. The heart is like that too. 
if we are very still and don't speak, if we do this out of love. How many beginnings are there? A deer follows you until you become the deer, and then you know how it feels to hide deep in the forest. Memories won't return to you like a bush filled with doorknobs. Please don't lose yourself in the woods. Sometimes what is gone is also dead. So I'll, um, I'll read a few poems from the very first section called The Ghost Plants a Fable. In another story, you never leave. There are many years of writing the wrong words. You pile the letters like so many lanterns, a warning to this wanting. You try to convince yourself to swallow away. You make the word into ghost maker. Her figure fades. You walk through the city almost forgetting. Keep walking deeper into the forest. You see deer creatures with pale flowers growing from antlers. The trees are shaped like bodies. Branches bend into curved backs, faces smudged with leaves. You tie red ribbons to your fingers and crouch close to the ground. Then you see the saddest bloom. It remembers a lot, little seahorse without roots. In another story, you carry a box in your mouth. Inside, a bird sings until a single bulb blooms so bright it replaces fire and even the sun. Then you will know where words go to die. Everything will be both new and terrible at the same time. And I'm going to end with um, a few poems from the very last section um, called Lost Letters. And I have a little description underneath the subtitle or the section title. Um, so these letter fragments were found in the North Woods. Sections of texts are missing from snow thaw, severe temperature changes, and ice storms. Deer were found sleeping by the letters. Maybe I am flying, needed this letter without comfort. When I go inside the rooms, my mind, walls I do not recognize. One day I will ruin everything, I won't care. Remember the body, sit and wait. Think back to the moment the heart begins to lose itself. Red tulips, their vase, how to name what isn't there. This will be the last one. What did you say something is happening far away? When I opened the door, many stones, an unwritten letter. Land kept expanding, lake, sky, inseparable. In my dreams, no doors. Thank you.